I haven't seen her. I know she's dealing with some contract stuff. Right. That's not my business. I hope they work all it out. I just, you know, know that. And I always will say whether we're besties or not, you know, you know, she's great for the show. How has the filming been going? Has it been fun, you know, getting back together with the girls? I know we have some new faces this season. Yes, it has been fun. It has been fun. And the one thing about being in a pandemic, you know, even if you have drama with some of the other ladies, you actually still miss them now because you just miss anybody. You just right. miss people because you're just not really around people that much except, you know, your family. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've enjoyed, you know, catching up with the ladies. Uh, it's definitely kicking off. You guys will sure. have an interesting season 13 and we definitely have some fresh meat. We got some fresh meat and so far I'm liking the fresh meat, but it's still early in the game. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. It's always interesting what happens by the time we get to the end. So, mm -hmm. but I think it was, I think it's good that we, you know, brought some other ladies in and, mm -hmm. you know, I always love, you know, the ladies that are here, you know, you know, some people are just, just can't replace them, honey, because they're yeah. just of a kind, but Definitely. Uh, yeah, so far so good. Did you know Drew and Latoya before? this or I, you I did not I didn't know Latoya at all but I briefly met Drew she actually came to my Bailey wine cellar opening where Mike proposed oh nice very yes. nice so what what is that what are they bringing to the what are they bringing to the show were you excited when you heard that they were gonna come um, on yeah, board I was I absolutely was um well they both bring different things uh yeah. Latoya is a little I don't even know what the age difference is but uh, Latoya seems to be a little younger mm -hmm. a little feister. she's a little firecracker she's one of those people just says any and everything but she's a lot of fun mm -hmm. um she gonna probably be in trouble at the reunion because she's <laughs> everything <laughs> she started <laughs> she gonna have some explaining to do yeah she's fun. I love her spirit I love her energy and Drew, uh, I love as well because she's just, uh, you know, she's in a, a marriage. She has kids. Um, you know, she's from, um, she's been in the industry a long time as an actress. She's actually done a lot of work with my, uh, my baby's daddy. That was oh. at Leon. Like she's played his love interest quite a few times in um, some projects. That's so funny. A strange connection, right? <laughs> I know, right? I'm like, so how many love scenes you guys do? I'm kidding. So, no, it's, uh, she's, she's really cool. She's cool. They have two totally different personalities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of laid back. The other one's a little like, you know, uh, doing the most on fire. Right. So, we'll, we'll see, you know, it's, it's interesting when you first come on the show, you know, first season, there's no season like first season. Mm -hmm. So, um, for mine, you know, my first season was I got married on the show, the friendship contract was bored on the show, first season, so you just never really know. But I'm, I'm excited about um, the new ladies and, uh, you know, of course, you know, catching up with the, the ladies that have been around. Definitely. Were you surprised that Eva decided to leave? I was, and I'm still recovering from that. Yeah. Eva and I um, became very close on the show, and we're, you know, close off the show. You know, we still remain very, very close. I was just... She just made oxtails at her house last week and I was just there, Mike and I. So um, she was kind of like my girl. You know, we, you know, did start off in the beginning as friends. Uh, she was coming for me in the beginning, but, um, you know, from one sunflower to love and light over here, you know, yep. we found our way. And once we found our way, you know, no one could really pull us apart, but yeah. uh, she will be very missed. And uh, I am sad that she's, she's not here this season. Yeah. Is she happy with her decision though? Oh yeah. I think she is 100%. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Eva's great TV. She has so many other opportunities and you know, the great thing about being on this platform and plus all the things that she had going on before the show, before she came on housewives, you know, the, the door is open. The door is open for all these other things that, that now she can do now. So she's yeah. on a, who knows, you know, these girls go and sometimes they come. Right. <laughs> they always, yes. They, hopefully, definitely. I mean, you know, what's your relationship like with Nini now? Obviously there's all, all these rumors all the time that she's not coming back. She is coming back. What's the status of your friendship and have you guys been filming together? Uh, we're in a cool place. Mm -hmm. You know, we're obviously not as close as we used to be. Um, gone through all our stuff, but I have nothing but love for her in terms of her coming on the show, I haven't seen her. I know she's dealing with some contract stuff. Right. That's not my business. I hope they work all it out. I just, you know, know that, and I always will say whether we're besties or not, you know, you know, she's great for the show. You know, mm -hmm. she's been around show for, you know, since the beginning of the show. And um, she's good TV and I, I hope they work through it. And, you know, Bravo has always publicly said, you know, she always has a home here. They've always been supportive of whatever she wanted. 
um, you know, if any of that's changed, you know, I don't know anything about it. I, I yeah. think they can figure it out. Yeah. Would it be strange to do a season 13 without her? You know what? We've actually shot without her before. Right. Like she's yeah. left before. So I wouldn't say it would, it would be strange. Mm -hmm. um, I just think that, you know, she, she, she brings a lot to the show. How does production look now with everything going on? We are back to filming and production looks very different. Mm -hmm. We actually have to have COVID tests every week. Mm -hmm. okay. So I was starting off with the one with the nose. They stick down the nose and that was like, okay, so I'm uncomfortable to do it. Like not every week, like, you know, once a month, once every three months, but every week, every Tuesday, it was tough. But now I get the throat one, which is much better. My throat is a lot more uh, friendlier <laughs> than my nose. I won't get into all of that, but I'm just saying, I was able to receive it better. <laughs> so, and, uh, you know, we wear masks, you know, production has to have on masks. Every, they all have to be tested every week. You know, basically if one person gets it, then that kind of shuts everything down. And, you know, luckily we haven't had too many issues. If someone goes out of town, they have to quarantine for a certain amount of days before they can come back to work and then have to be taste tested again after the quarantine. So then we lose like some of the cast members because they're in a quarantine if they travel. Wow. Um, what else? Um, you know, we have a medic actually that comes to all our shoots to make sure everybody's actually obeying the mask rule because we are in Hotlanta, which yeah. is a hot spot for COVID-19. And everybody doesn't always follow the rules over here. So with that said, you know, just making sure, you know, Bravo's concern is to just make sure that, you know, everyone's safe. And if we are going to, you know, do the show that they're doing everything on their part to make sure that nobody gets sick and yeah. we're able to, you know, bring this entertainment to you guys. It seems like you're taking a ton of precautions, which is, which yeah, is good. a whole nother ball game. And another thing that's happening is we're shooting at home more because we can't go to a lot of restaurants. You know, we always go to all these fabulous places all the time and shoot. Well, now we're at our homes more, which has inspired me to actually kind of get Lake Bailey together a little mm -hmm. bit more because before I was never here. Right. I was always traveling for work. Mm -hmm. And now I get a little Bailey boat out there. Nice. Yeah, I've been doing a bunch of yard stuff, just kind of doing tweaks and stuff. Because again, you know, I haven't really been here, you know, between traveling and it was, you know, it just needed some love. So definitely. Um, and I'm enjoying actually being home because I was like, wow, this is where I live. I, right. I get to enjoy it a little bit. I pretty much bought the house and got on an airplane and just kept working. I'd never really hung out in my house. And now I'm in my house all the time.